Hello, dear friends. Today, I want to share a letter with you. You might have noticed that I often talk about some situations that happen in my life, so that all of you have hope and faith. So that you know what miracles happen when a woman asks us for help. I received a letter from Maria. She wrote, Please help. My sister's been diagnosed with cancer. She is a young woman. She's only 34. She has two small children. She is on the verge of despair. Is there any way out? Dear friends, there is always a way out. It doesn't matter what doctors have told you. It doesn't matter what diagnosis you have been given. There is always a way out. I am a shaman with many years of experience. My ancestors have been helping heal people with shamanic methods for 10,000 years. Our ancestors knew that every disease is a spirit. It is very important to turn to a shaman in time, to ask for help in time. You know that the shaman has a unique ability to expel the spirit of disease. If your loved one is in a coma, the shaman has a special shamanic ritual for this case. We know how to get back the soul of a person who was lost in the lower world. And when a person is in a coma, their soul goes into the lower world and cannot get back into the body. No matter how difficult the diagnosis is, there is always a chance. There is always hope. I want to tell you about something that inspires me very much. I share it very often. A woman came to me with a diagnosis of cancer. They said, You have thyroid cancer. Your nodes are affected. Actually, all of them must be removed. She came to me. While she was talking to me, I had a very strong feeling of suffocation in my throat. It's because we, the shamans, immediately feel everything on our own selves. All spirits of disease. All human problems. We get in tune with you so much that we immediately feel everything on our own skin. We feel all that you feel. That's why we are able to help you. Well, I felt tightness in my throat, and I started to cough. That's when I understood it was the spirit of the disease, the spirit of her illness, coming out through me. Then, I looked at her with my inner eye. I told her, I see that you must expel this spirit of disease, and do it, exactly on the day of the full moon. Fortunately, the full moon was two days later. We performed a great shamanic ritual and expelled the spirit of disease. I saw that her disease had been caused by a very strong lineage curse. We performed a ritual together. I gave her recommendations, and she had been following each of my recommendations for three months. Three months after seeing me, she went for a medical checkup. Doctors looked at her card, then at her, and then, they said, are you still alive? They were really surprised. With a diagnosis like that, she should have died a long time ago. She said, yes, I am alive. And I think I've been cured. The doctors though, what a crazy woman. And they sent her for an extensive medical test. When she passed all her tests, the doctor said, these are not your tests. Did someone else take them for you? She said, no, those are mine. She was tested once again. The tests proved that she was completely healthy. One may say this is a miracle. Actually, shamanism is a miracle. It's all due to the ancient practices, the very first practices that people have performed on earth. After all, shamanism is about being connected with nature. It is about the restoration of the natural cosmic rhythms of the human body that keep us healthy. Many years have gone by. This woman has been happy and healthy ever after. What is more, she discovered a special talent of her own. She began to sing. 
She began to chant mantras which are able to heal people. They listen to her and get charged with her energy. So, please remember. No matter what happens to you, we will help you. Now, I will teach you a special shamanic ritual. It will help to prepare you and your aura for getting healed. Are you ready? Are you ready to give me your spirit of illness? Or maybe you are holding on to it so tightly that you can't let it go. You are sticking to all the sorrows, pain, and disappointment in your life. Let it go. Hand it over to me. Just stop sticking to it. I am ready to set you free from all of this now. But only if you are ready to give it to me. If we are ready, then we will start with the first stage of the shamanic ritual. I will use a black candle especially for our shamanic ritual. Don't be afraid. It's not scary. The black candle is a symbol of the energy that will take away your problem. Make sure you feel its vibes. Exhale deeply. Let go of all of your illnesses, all of your disappointments, and all of your pain with that breath. All of your despair, your fears. Just let go of them with your breath. Now, you can hear a special music of transformation. It is the music of healing. Your aura is already starting to change. Let it go. Let it all go now. Let it burn in the flame of the candle. Let it burn. Let it go. Breathe out of the diseased organ. Of the diseased system. Breathe out. I will take it away from you with my shamanic power. Take a breath in and out, right onto the candle flame. Very well. This candle goes on working its magic. Now, I'll take a white candle. It's a candle of hope. A candle of health. A candle of success. And now, you will do another thing. You will start to take the energy from the fire. Inhale this light. Inhale this energy. Inhale the hope. Inhale the power of healing. Take a deep breath in. Inhale and direct the energy to the affected organ or system. Inhale. I'm sending hope. Inhale. I'm sending faith. Inhale. I'm sending healing. Inhale. Well done. Breathe in and out. How are you feeling? If you followed all my recommendations, you must feel a surge of energy, joy, inspiration, and hope. Please do this ritual every day. This meditation can be performed two, three, five, or even ten times a day. I will work with you remotely because I can feel all of you. Each of you who will mentally ask me for help, I will be there for you. Dear friends, of course, you should understand that the process of healing can be lengthy. The reason is that the stage and the development of the disease are different for each of you. And, of course, it is very important that I examine you in person to provide personal guidance for you to meet you at the seminar. After all, the seminar is the best place for healing. 
There, my powers and the powers of the holy place are united. The powers of the group of women who come together and the joint powers of our prayers. The power of our open hearts and strong female practices. We help each other. Please remember you are not alone. Remember, there is always hope. Remember that together we will succeed. My darlings, remember that you are not alone. There are people who support you. Whatever happens in your life, contact us on our Telegram channel. Ask us for help. Send us a photo. Maybe you know someone who needs help. Send us a photo, a specific situation, and we will pray together with the whole world. You may ask. Who are you? We are an international charity movement, field of love. Everyone who turns to us receives support. It may be prayers, food, clothes, motivational words, or energy practices. Everyone gets what they need at the moment. Just contact us. The spirits have brought you here. This means that you are on the verge of a new stage in your life, the discovery of superpowers, contacts with spirits, the uncovering of your predestination. All of this will be revealed to you at the next seminar. Follow the call of the spirits.